Hi folks, welcome to the Fusion Friday. Let's talk about drawings. I've got a component open here. Let's create a drawing for it. File, new drawing, from design. I will admit this can be glitchy. It's been more stable uh, in the last few weeks for me, but uh, drawings can cause your thing to, uh, Fusion to crash, so save your file. Scale, I'm gonna change this one to one to one, and I'll just click right here in the middle and place that part. Um, I'm not a drawing expert. I'm just going to walk you through some basics here, but experiment and play with these, you know, like for instance, edge, vis edge visibility as you see fit. Click OK. We get a traditional drawing. We'll talk at the end about what drawings are and when they're useful and, and not useful. Generally, the first things you want to do are dimension stuff. So under this annotation window, there are, there's a dimension, which is a generic uh, tool that will sort of find whatever you're talking about, a line length, you know, three inches, or a radius of a circle, um, like so forth. But I actually like using the specific ones because it helps focus in. So if I want a diameter on this center hole here, it's not going to give me anything other than the diameter of that center hole. We go back and we do, say, a linear dimension. That's going to only look at horizontal or vertical. So I can click here, here, and that gives me a distance like so. It's actually not the dimension I wanted to create. Let's try that again. We'll go from the center point here to here. There we go. Now, a line dimension is just measuring between two points. So if I wanted to go from, say, the corner or edge here to the edge there, that'll give you a, in this case, a really bit of an arbitrary type number. If we, why are we getting that error here? Reassociate. There we go. If you wanted to tolerance that, which is one of the more common things again to do, uh, I'll hit escape once. See if that takes me out of the select. Double click this, and over here I can choose, see, is it, I think it's tolerance. Say symmetric and, you know, plus or minus five thou. That gives you your traditional, you know, two and a half inches plus or minus five thou. I don't love the, the graphical look of the text here. It's a little bit um, too busy in my opinion, but again, drawings to me are actually a huge deal. I don't, that's not an excuse, uh, but um, it just, it's not something I lose sleep over at this point at least. I'm sure Fusion team is working on this to get it better. Upper tolerance is the same thing. You could say um, in this instance, you know, it can't be any smaller than two and a half. It could be bigger. Uh, again, I don't like that it cuts these off. If I'm typing in three decimals here, I'd like to see them over here because um, usually drawings correspond to the tolerance. So if I dimension something out to only 2.5, normally down here at the bottom, it'll say what 2.5 or one decimal place means, plus or minus 10 thou or 100 thou. Uh, but again, the point here is to get you guys started with drawings. There's a cool thing called uh, yeah, baseline dimension. So that'll let you take a dimension and say this one, and I can link it to say this first one here. And then it'll let me click on the, the next one I want to, like this one, and then on the end one, and it's just automatically daisy chaining these in order. So it's a little bit of a faster way. The similar thing to with the chain dimension, it'll do I think the incremental to each spot. So there, to there. Uh, if you don't pay attention, you can make your pages look real sloppy. So if you click on something once, you can use the, the gray square to move the dimension around and sort of organize it as, as you need to. There's a, some cooler features that are very useful. If we click on this projected view right here, I'll click on my base view, and then if I just go left, it'll drag the left view. Right, we'll go to the right view. Isometric, isometric. So that's actually helpful in my opinion. Hit enter, I think, to be done. Right. So another thing would be detail view. So if I wanted to say show the um, area right around this tangency to the part, I could click. So saying select parent view, I'll click parent view and then select center point here and then I can drag my little circle, and this is, was not counterintuitive to me, but you have to hit, I think, enter now to sort of lock it in. No, there we go, click, now click OK. And again, they don't, the text box here is a little bit low, in my opinion, away from it, but 
it gives you that sort of zoomed in view. Um, here you can see that tangent line coming around. Similar thing that's also very helpful, section view. So let's say we wanted to do a cross section view down the center of this part. I'll click on section view, parent view. I'll click on my center point and I'll do say a section view from here to here. Um, again, so I think you just hit enter when you're ready for it and then I can drag it over. Let's say we wanted to blow it up. Um, can we do two to one? Yeah. And click OK. And now you have this section view of BB, BB, scale two to one. And I can now see, in this instance, I can see my chamfers, my counterboards, my depths, the relief on the backside. Very helpful. You can use text to manually, you know, comment and type what you want. Side view for reference. Not exactly the craziest stuff there. And let's hop into the clamp project that we've been doing on our Wednesday widget series and show um, one last thing, which is file, new drawing from design. Here I will, again, have the whole assembly. And what's kind of cool is you can do, click OK, a bill of materials. And it's obviously better if you have it fully set up, which you'll see. But it pulls in all your components. And a lot of these are McMaster card part numbers. The material, if you had it set correctly, would show as steel or brass or aluminum. And what we can do, let's, so let's change, double click this view and we'll change it from one to two. It'll make it a little bigger. And now, if we do this balloon here, this call out guy, and we click on say that brass handle. There we go. So that's saying four, which is four. And if I model this correctly, instead of there being two um, a three and a four, there would be only one with quantity two, and it would link to the McMaster card part number. Um, and if you double click on this, you can go ahead and type in approved by John Saunders, checked by no one, title is clamp, exclamation point, click OK, and it populates the stuff in there. So that is a very quick uh, tutorial and intro on Fusion 360 drawings. I think they've got a lot more to come. Um, drawings for us, they're just, they're not, they're something that you need to be able to do and use, but they're not something that is the most important function. I don't, I hope I'm not creating a lot of flames in the comments by saying that. You know, one example of a drawing that is good is, you know, we sent out these threaded spacers to Dale at Widget Works to make them, and, you know, we needed to give him a dimension for that end cap. It needed to be plus zero on the tolerance and minus, um, you know, up to five or ten thou. So that's a good example where just sending the solid model isn't always the right um, path. This part here, by the way, is one of the parts that we do in our uh, NYC CNC training classes that we host here in Zanesville, Ohio. We've got a couple training dates coming up in February and March. We'd love to have you. It's a great chance to spend a few days in Fusion 360 CAD, CAM, and a lot of time uh, on the Tormach machines. It's usually two people per CNC mill. So uh, it's an intense class. It's great for beginners and folks that just are looking for more hands-on time. And then finally, just to wrap up on Tom drawings, the other reason they're really important is as a job shop or if you're sending parts out to a shop, you've got to make sure you, you clearly communicate what the acceptable uh, tolerances are materials because if you're going to dispute the job or you need to give them clear instruction, that's got to be written down somewhere. And again, usually the solid model alone won't do that. Take care, folks. See you next Friday.